how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm gonna show you a tutorial, I'm sure. Right now, in this moment, I don't know exactly what it's gonna be, but I was thinking, let's share with you the first snow. Yeah, it's officially fall, kind of winter here. And this is how it's looking where I live. <laughs> Amazing, right? Yeah, it's not that cold, I think. It's gonna probably melt, but yeah, yesterday it was snowing, so we have a snow. And I wanted to share with you this. And right now where I am, it's not that windy, but if I move a little bit, it's gonna be windy. The house is kind of protecting me. <laughs> well, let's see what is gonna be today's tutorial. This is my sign when I'm recording. I hang this on the door, but it's broken. It was broken for a long time. Now I'm gonna try to fix it. I was thinking with maybe some stickers. I just had to be very delicate. This is my favorite cartoon from Cartoon Networks, the cow and chicken. You see, those are the stickers. And we have a lot of stickers because I love that cartoon. It's just, I don't know, I need probably something much more stronger. Let's see what I found, but yeah, that's another thing I had to do before I do a tutorial. <laughs> Everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. Today I'm going to show you another Halloween design and this is kind of um, just another version of a design that I already made that is the death that I made it a couple years ago. So this is a version and from this even version that I just made today, we're going to make another one to make it in order to make it fast because this year, remember, I want to make things much faster, much more simple. Okay, because uh, sometimes, you know, that is cool to take your time and do things more elaborated, but that will take you time. And when you are in events, especially the Halloween events, there's lots of people and it's good sometimes to have also the fast version. So this is maybe, maybe can be the fast version. Let's start started and stay tuned until the end, trying to watch the whole video, because at the end of the videos, I'm going to share with you pictures of, um, a subscriber that sent me uh, her version too that is uh, gonna be on pictures okay so that's you Sarah I hope you're watching the video so I'll be sharing you pictures from the death guy that you made that is, I think is really cool and also perfect for line twisting now uh, when you see pictures and one thing is the detail is the what is it's not an axe is the house uh, it's something like a weapon right he has and that's a really cool thing to represent, you know, and help to go closer to what it is, but you don't have to make it. And that's what I'm trying to explain you, especially if you are trying to be fast. So when you, someone asks you, oh, I can, can I have the death? Uh, they have another name also. I think the gripper, the, I don't remember, but it had another name that I wish I know, you know, but um, the thing is when they ask you, if you have time, you can add the weapon. This time, it's gonna be just the body and a very simple way, okay? So I hope you like it. And remember, we're gonna change something. And the cool thing about this design is a three balloon design, and we're gonna practice a very cool technique that I, I think is fun. So let me show you. Ta -da -da -da. Yep, actually, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> well, first of all, in order to be simple, uh, I'm playing with balloons 260. Yep, just balloons to 60. Wow, it looks better than what I, I thought, really. When I see it in the video, it looks much better. I was kind of like, and it's, this is that the thing in, in my brain, I have to uh, activate the chip that, okay, Cecilia, what do you want? Line twisting. So you cannot go so much with details only because it's gonna take longer. So for example, in, there is a version that is not even that bad. Actually, it's a really cool way to make this character but I made each bond here, you know, drawing to make it more detail for the hands, okay? So that is gonna be another detail. And then here, you know, a pinch twist and play with different sizes. I was using here a 350 white, but now I'm thinking, let's try with a 260. Um, so now here is a 260, and instead of make this like that, I'm thinking, what not just a long, pinch twist and that's it. So let's see what happens. Let's grab, the, we're gonna need three balloons. This is a three balloon design. And we're gonna go with two black to 60. 
and then one white one 260 okay so we're gonna play with all 260 which is cool right so let's start it i'm gonna grab black and the idea is to kind of inflate it six finger tail approximately so let's do that i'll go six finger tail and lose some air always i recommend you lose some air when you inflate your balloon then give it a little bit of a curve six finger tail okay then that's it that's it you have two balloons not black now a white so i'm gonna go with the white and you don't need that at all but just in case so then it's kind of like the recipe all the balloons you're gonna play the six finger tail so you're gonna grab tight and then grab one black one of this and just look tie it together yep just tie it together let's start that way then you're gonna measure like oh man make sure that white doesn't pop what is going on maybe i need more space what is going on something is popping my balloon but i don't know what or maybe the balloon had a hole if that happened to you it's okay don't freak out keep going keep going it's gonna be fine so now you just grab and i wonder what is touching but just in case i should have you know some space there but okay let's keep going tight it i'm just repeating what i just show you okay and then kind of like go measure like a hand you know that's gonna be the size of the head or four or five finger long okay twist twist very well and then cut but don't get rid of the balloon so don't get rid of the black just loose a little bit of air tie it and make sure you pass it around and now you cut the other one and the same don't loosen all the air just tie it and we can plant something here like it's gonna be tied but leaving a tip you know leaving a tip there you know why because if i'm thinking what i'm thinking i'm gonna instead of make three pinch twists i'm gonna thinking to make just a long apple twist in order to be fast so i just leave some space there and then these two you just pass one and the other one just tie it just tie the two so you just make a shape like this like this now this is a very cool shape okay why because this is going to be part of the face but also here opens for this balloon to go all the way like here so if it's black with black sometimes it's harder but you can roll it roll it and it's going to be there you know and this can be uh, as long as you kind of consider it but you want something like a little bit of bending okay and then pull a little bit of air so you have a shape there okay so how long is that Cecilia well I'm making it this time something like four plus two like six finger long bend it something like that no more okay then all this we still have something to do here very important that is look you're gonna kind of measure the limit here a squish twist 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 you're gonna make something like um what is this uh, like a loop you know like three finger loop and then another three finger loop okay and look at this interesting shape we're gonna do now we're gonna make something like this look we're gonna end up something like here okay when you are here you're gonna squish a stretch okay and this is gonna go around look how this cool shape is gonna go around and around and around make sure this balloon is in the back so it's gonna around and around yep okay so now it comes this moment that this balloon here it's kind of like just in the center so in my mind i was thinking okay if i feel in a hurry you know if i feel like i'm in a hurry this can be my first version already just two balloons and then this remember we just have I'm gonna just do it here look you just measure like three finger bubble and this is gonna be three finger bubble and then two twist 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 remember we have the long tip because you can always grab this and tie it in the center of the three finger bubble from the back so this is the front and from the back you just squish in the air measure the tie to tie the balloon here in the center this is a very cool technique that we practice you will see to do it very fast you you don't have to worry um Okay, and so then you tied it there. Now you have the connection from the center. And then you cut. Oh, man. Ah, I don't know. My fingers, what's going on, Cecilia? But the idea is that when you cut that, you leave some tip, like three finger tip. And I didn't. So I'm just gonna pretend I did. <laughs> pretend, let's pretending. So you're gonna get that with something like this. Let me 
let me tie it two times you know i don't know if it's like my hands or something or the balloons are not that good uh no i'm using decomex but so you have this three pinch twist and that's just attach it right here look yes in order to save time and just to give it a little bit of shape to this character and that's it now for the and you just accommodate it there in the center look look how cool it's coming now the face you see it coming with this type of more angle like bones you know <laughs> and this can be a very fast version okay it's nothing bad with just go with two balloons and that's it but one more balloon may this a little bit more elaborated now imagine if we stop here okay if we stop here what can is going to happen here you're going to have a short time big holes you know and it can be a lot of different faces so if you want to have ideas always remember you have internet you have google go to google and put the dead uh, faces or skeleton even faces and there's a lot of choices have to make you know the faces so you can practice uh, the same with the pumpkins when you do the jack o' lantern there is a lot of different ways to decorate to make the faces for your pumpkins think about that okay so for example if you're gonna make like that movie is scary you know like the movie scream you know it have a very funny face can be one like that or it can be something like simple as triangles yes because we are kind of used to that so it can be something like this simple easy now here the nose you can make it like this like something like a boomerang idea simple easy and then here because you have a whole space you can make this look just like that a line with some lines crossing that's it and this can be a very fast way to interpret it now you, a little bit of character can be if, if you want it to be mad just some eyebrows here you want it to be happy to the sides remember that now this is a very fast already design that's it no more but we have another 260 and this is what we can do in order to give it more character you can squish okay make something like two pinch twist remember this is like a six finger uh design six finger tail so you have two pinch twists if you want you can make three pinch twists it's up to you okay but two minimum i think it's gonna be okay and then or any if you don't want to add hands just not make any and it's gonna be fine a little bit of bending we're gonna make one hand so there's like four or five finger long okay two pinch twist four or five finger long a squish twist 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 and connect it right here yep right there in between that's gonna be okay so you have all that space of balloon there to connect things and now look you can always you know from here you have this you can just take it down take it down you can go in a spiral if this were long you can go a little bit of spiral but if it's not it's gonna be fine just end up with the bubble to make things easier follow this and then that little bubble from here you can make a couple loop or pinch twist whatever you think maybe just two pinch two loops whatever is easy with you remember we have one bubble and then go up because we're trying to here also save time go up and then that's it and pass it around and make things see i'm passing it around and then make sure the arms are in the front, right? So yes, I'm playing with this. So look, you have something like this, two bubbles to the back. The front, the first bubble from the first balloon to 60 black ends in a little bubble and then two loops. And then from here, you just have to make the other arm. So you just make sure four or five finger long and then two pinch twists. Now, uh, if your balloon is a good one, <laughs> you end up with two pinch twists, loose the air, tap this, loose the air, tie it, and pass it around. That's it. Let's see. Now, you just accommodate things. Um, remember, also from my mistakes, you learn a lot. And that's something good. I like to show you 
you know even that um now i'm considering for example maybe the arms are too long you can make it shorter look how the expression change you can always fix it put it back the way you want it you know the pinch twist but um another good idea is also you can always always make the sharp hand at the end okay just wanted to show you how it looks in a simple way now the design is pretty much ready you want to add a little other detail will be with the leftover because if it's a balloon white 260 is a good one you will have left over for sure and that could be like maybe just a pinch twist and another pinch twist for each hand if you want it's an you see look at this there is the variation and i think it doesn't matter it looks great why to make three pinch twists you can just do this and be much faster with a long pinch twist and that's it think about that um let's see what you see it like this i think that will be the simple way you can always even grab a wristband here even with two loops and one pinch twist or one bubble it can be you know looking fine so don't go too crazy sometimes let's avoid details and that's kind of my interpretation on that and plus this is a design using balloons 260 which is cool right because that's what we all mm, mm, we have more of that and that's what is easier for us to inflate with a manual pump <laughs> or electric because of, of course if you inflate balloons with your mouth the 350s or 360s are much easier okay um but this is kind of cool i like it tell me in the comments what do you think this bending part can be that angle or it can be just all the way to the back you can change but i think it's cute to the side and this is the back which is not that bad so black kind of like it's okay so Play with that, that idea, have fun, enjoy this tutorial. I think it's kind of like trying to simplify uh, the designs from my past, which is cool too. So think about that because that's how we can be better. You know, when we kind of master the way to make things fast, easy, and also them also, why not? More elaborated, a little more complicated to challenge ourselves, which is also good. It's just when I go to events, I know I need some designs that are much faster. So now I'm going to keep it simple. Okay. I'm going to keep it this way. And this is the way. Tell me in the comments, what do you think? Remember, if you have, for example, your white Sharpie, you can make some skeleton hands here in the black and that's it. Maybe you're saving some time. Okay. If it's not, it's totally fine. Just leave it like that because in some pictures, the dead, you know, you don't see his hands because he's have a very long tunic and that, you know, it's covering everything from the tunic, even the hands. So you can say that to the kids. Oh, the, the tunic is covering. So you don't see the hands, <laughs> you know? Okay, so there we go. Have a wonderful day. Don't forget, you can always make this design much better if you add a light. Yep. Uh, you can decorate your design with some stickers if you want, but I think this is great. I like it actually. Look, it's great, right? Because my plan was to show you some spiral and go crazy there. It's not necessary. This is a very kind of cute version. And if you want to kind of like think, Cecilia, what you did here, it looks different. Well, in one I say I did three pinch twists and in the other one I did just one long pinch twist. So that's, you know, thing, consider those things and have fun. I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> I think it's cute. It is cute. And it's, you know, this design, it's kind of like the Sharpie dime, right? That helps the design to represent the death. Okie dokie. I'll see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and please check it out below on the description for my videos ideas how to collaborate with this channel because it's thanks to your collaboration that this channel can be much better your collaboration is very well appreciated and if you make the design don't forget to tag me tag me on social media as at alpaca global that way i can see your picture i feel like yes you did it plus i can share it at the end of my next tutorial so now it's coming all the pictures that you've been tagging me you will see it right at the end of this video and all the videos that i do tutorials um I don't know when you're going to see this, but I'm going to also pay attention. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe to the channel because last minute, all the time, I kind of like share live videos. And the live videos are a lot about me twisting balloons at events at the moment. So that's something cool because you can see me in action. That's what I call. That's a moment of being balloon twister in action. And you can see how sometimes even tutorials that I show you, I kind of vary depending on the situation if I'm too busy. So uh, that's a cool thing, right? To see um, the practice, the moment. 
and a lot of you like it so i i'm doing so pay attention subscribe to the channel so then you will receive notifications as soon as there is a live video and when there is a live video sometimes you can be able to comment and ask questions and i'm gonna be able to reply right away at that moment so think about all those things that are cool why not subscribe to the channel plus you're helping a lot if you subscribe to this channel you're helping to the channel why i don't know that's how it is youtube so it helps um so subscribe to the channel because still i think 50 percent of people that watch these videos is not subscribing yet so like how that possible you should subscribe be subscribed be part of this channel with this group um what are the things don't forget las vegas bling bling yum it's coming every july every july in las vegas uh, i think it's in the, the middle of july or uh, july 15 i'm i'm not sure yet the date but i'm already registered for las vegas Young 2024 and that year las vegas Young 2024 is going to be their 10th anniversary so it's going to be a very special con balloon convention that i'm inviting everybody because this is the exciting part for me you can meet other balloon twisters balloon lovers balloon beginners that are starting and because there's really cool teachers that you're going to also be able to learn you know like it's one thing be on camera and trying to make the best as i can as a tutorial for you but it's another level when you are in person and being that moment and learning you know in person you have this chance to see every angle say oh please could you repeat oh could we practice this design again together because everybody that goes to Las Vegas Minyam have also the chance to jump to twist after classes in a big room that we all you know kind of like share as much as possible and that's kind of the best part I think in balloon conventions right when you are sharing uh you know things that come out from because everybody has something to teach and something to show believe it or not yes so this year I'm so excited that, that 2024 because I'm gonna be as a student like as a you know a balloon lover that is one to just go and have fun this year i'm not gonna be teaching i'm gonna be you know be there enjoying as a you know as a tourist <laughs> how you call that as a student yeah i'm gonna be registered so I, I am already so i hope you can make it more information check it out on the website what other thing uh yeah i think i say everything i think so yes so now um i can wait you know to have pictures of the latest designs that are thing are amazing i i'm super happy i'm proud that the designs that i share with you this year for my line twisting fast designs are i think are great i think those are the ones that damn pictures and put it on my board so for example here i was kind of having also these ones so some ideas you know easy fast when i'm because I'm going to events and really and I understand the situation right economics but I'm going to events and they cannot afford me to be there too long only one hour and it's going to be lots of kids and I really want to you know be able to make as many as possible so I create these sheets that is kind of like super fast line twisting designs for me okay and as you can see I have choices there and also even this one that it may see a little bit more elaborated if you do the whole body but I just make the head and a bracelet and it's still cute. Um, then also I want to add the latest ones, the bat. Uh, maybe these two, why not? And the other one I want to add, it's the candy corn. So somewhere I have to make sure I can add it, okay? So that is kind of my going to be my menu actually for this weekend. Let's see what happens. Just like that, simple. I'm not taking the whole menu because they just hired me for one event, two hours, another one only one hour. And really to bring everything that means them time to take everything and that takes time and really when i go to events sometimes i just leave a couple minutes in between it or you know it depending on the distance but no more than 30 minutes and i don't want to be you know carrying so much heavy if it's not really for that long that's i had to confess that's what sometimes i think if you have me for one hour i'm not gonna bring everything you know just gonna go practical so then i can leave practical i can stay the whole hour as much as possible twisting but when it's time to go boom, 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 disappear if i take that big board you know my big board is heavy so i do that for events that are over two hours you know three hours four hours five that's when it's like okay it's worth it to carry to set up you know half even a tent if i want but for events that are under two hours two hours one hour no let's go practical Okie dokie, 
have a wonderful day and see you in my next video i hope you enjoying don't forget subscribe subscribe and thumbs up yes that's good that's good too and your comments okay bye bye thanks In case you wonder how I fix it, <laughs> it's fixed, you see? Just glue it with some strong tape and I put this. Okay, now it's time to go. So when I go, I just move this out of office, say bye-bye to the balloon room.